What's up you guys? Welcome to my probably most requested video of 2020, certainly probably of all YouTube, uh, which is the comparison between the real deal specialized power saddle and the Chinese branded EC90 knockoff. I want to go over my initial impressions between the two saddles. I'm going to get out a tape measure and weigh them and see what the differences are there and then give you kind of an overall impression of uh, how they've been riding for me and uh, what I've found and I've noticed between the two, both the similarities and differences. So let's dive in. All right, so out of the box, I wanna say that I have been riding the Real Deal Specialized Power Saddle for the past five seasons. Um, I believe I picked this up in 2015. Uh, it was either, either 2015 or 2016, so I've definitely been using it um, for five years, maybe more. Um, and the things I like about this saddle was, first of all, it is a bit of a wider saddle than uh, usual. Um, certainly these days there are wider saddles more prominently available, especially in this style of like short nosed, kind of wider style with the big cutout. Um, I was fitted for the 155 millimeter version, I don't know if you can see that. Um, basically I went to the specialized dealer here in town, sat on like a rubber or a uh, gel type of uh, mat and it basically said, hey, you're uh, 155. So I went with that and, uh, and it's been working out well for me. One of the things I like about this saddle, uh, especially having tested a few other saddles over the years, is the relative flatness of the saddle as well as the shortness of the saddle and the width of the back. Um, I find that I sit relatively far back on the saddle and when I do, I basically, the front of the saddle disappears completely. Um, you know, and I certainly don't run into any kind of uh, numb nuts or anything like that. So uh, when I came across a, a new bike, I wanted to get a um, saddle that was very similar. Uh, I knew about EC90 having purchased a few of their products uh, already. So I did a quick search on AliExpress and lo and behold, they actually had a, a knockoff of the power saddle, or at least it looked like that in person. It wasn't until I got the saddle uh, here that I can, you know, pick it up and really compare the two. And off the bat, I mean, they look like basically identical saddles. You can see those guys there. Um, one of the big differences is, as I said, my real deal saddle is measured at a 155 millimeter width. This one, I believe, was a like a 143 or so width, uh, advertised anyway. Uh, Specialized has that width available in this saddle as well as uh, most of their other saddles. Uh, but 143 by it's around 250 240 millimeter length um yeah so anyway you know off the bat they do look very very similar the cutout on both is virtually identical it's nice and uh large um one of the i guess one of the real main differences uh, i've noticed on the top here you can see these kind of perforated markings um, on the ec90 it is just it's just like a painted on um you know something painted on there uh whereas on the real deal saddle it's actually like a small perforated um hole there's nothing that is coming out or going through but it is just a bit of a rougher kind of feeling to the saddle uh if i flip them over onto the back side uh you know they are both uh, very similar uh they're actually pretty much the uh, ec90 is basically a copy minus the s branded logo there and, uh, and it doesn't have the uh, screw holes here, which is for um, specialized, I believe it's their SWAT um, accessories you can add and you know attach to the saddle and stuff like that. Obviously they're not on this saddle. Um, the other thing about the saddle is that the rails are a little bit different. Uh, this one being the tie version. I don't know if you can see that there it is, right? There is a Thai version of the saddle. Uh, I know they come in uh, carbon version as well as I think the low end has maybe a magnesium alloy, something or other. Whereas this EC90 saddle, is, you can see here that it has started rusting a little bit. It would be like a, you know, like a steel or an alloy. Um, certainly nothing uh, too wild and crazy. Uh, it does has held up fine for me. Um, but like I said, you can see it uh, rusting there, especially as I moved it around. I moved it between a couple different bikes. Um, you know, the kind of wear and tear you certainly don't get um, on this saddle uh, from Specialized. Although it does have a few markings there, they all just kind of scratch off. So it is a little bit uh, beat up. Uh, you know, the 
the um, markings on the side as far as the um, fit and um, that kind of stuff is worn off a little bit as to be expected. Um, you can still see it on this guy here. But uh, yeah, so anyway, that is my initial view and review of the saddles. Let's dive in and see what they uh, compare and contrast as far as the actual sizing goes. All right, so here we are. I want to have a look at the actual sizing of the two saddles. And uh, I'm going to start with the real deal power saddle first. Again, this one is in the 155 millimeter width. Uh, so I expect it to be that width. I don't rem remember exactly the length, but let's find out here now using my most scientific method available. <laughs> so to my eyes, this looks like this saddle is coming out at around 245 millimeters. Uh, I don't know what a Specialized advertises it at, but to my eyes, it's bang on, 245 millimeters. And width-wise, see width-wise, it actually looks like it's around 160 millimeters from the very outside, yep, to the very outside to the very outside. So. Um, you know, there you go. That's what that one measures out at. Next up is the real, uh, is the EC90 saddle. And if we measure this guy out, actually looks like it's just a, a hair longer than 245 millimeters. I would say it's maybe in the 246 millimeter uh, length and width wise. It looks like it's around 145 millimeters. So it is a little bit of a narrower saddle um, and it is about the same length. So having said that, let's get into weighing them and see what they weigh. So first up we have the EC90 saddle. We've just determined that it's actually a little bit of a narrower, smaller saddle than the my uh, real deal power saddle. Uh, weight wise it comes in at 212 grams whereas the real deal and this is I believe the expert model um, so it doesn't have the carbon bottom it is um, like a hardened plastic bottom and again with the tie rails so they do have a couple of models that will probably be lighter being, being made from carbon this one weighing in at 232 grams so a little bit of a weight savings going to the EC90 version. Again, this is a little bit of a different size, um, but there you go. So that is the size comparison between these two saddles. So what do I think overall of these two saddles? Let's find out. Okay, so we are looking at what do I think and what is my review of these two saddles? Now that I've had a good chance to ride them pretty much all year, obviously this one I've ridden for several years, so I have a very good idea of uh, what this feels like, what it's capable of, and everything like that. So how exactly does the EC90 compare? Well, I guess first of all, saddles are particularly personal, right? Like the saddle that works for me might not necessarily work for you. You might love it, you might hate it, you might find it indifferent. So as mentioned uh, in the opening kind of um, thoughts on this saddle is I do like a flat saddle, I do like a short saddle, I do like a saddle with a wide cutout in it. Um, so certainly that uh, checks a lot of boxes here with the EC90 version of this saddle. Um, I've been using this saddle on my kind of gravel slash all road slash off road um, road bike, or it's not really a road bike, it's a, it's a cyclocross bike. Um, and one of the things that someone mentioned in one of my other videos was that there was a bit more flex they found in the EC90 version. And I would actually have to agree. Um, one of the things that I find is that it is a fair bit flexier. Um, however, with the type of riding that I've been doing with that particular bike, um, I don't know necessarily that, that would be a deterrent in using this saddle in the future. Um, you know, if you're going over hard bumps and, you know, ruts and rocks and whatever, uh, a little extra give in the saddle or in your bike or in your tires, um, wherever you can kind of save a little bit of that uh, or, or have a little more vibration absorption, I don't think is necessarily a bad thing. Um, would I want to necessarily use this on my road bike? Well, I could. Um, having the real deal uh, specialized uh, saddle, I don't necessarily find that I would have to uh, swap the EC90 onto that, but it has been a good secondary uh, bike pickup. Um, 
So the flex and the craftsmanship are um, okay. I wouldn't say they're, you know, top range, but again, you're spending, uh, you know, like I picked up this towel for around $20 Canadian. And whereas this one was $150 to $180 Canadian, I'm, I'm not sure exactly, but uh, certainly, you know, like at one third the price or even less, uh, one fifth the price, one eighth the price, <laughs> It is a uh, it is a pretty decent buy, and having compared the two side by side, you're getting virtually the same saddle, uh, the same shape, the same cutout um, for a quite lessened price. So what are you giving up? Well, it is certainly a first of all, it's a knockoff. Like it is uh, EC90 branded. I know that I have seen shopping on like AliExpress, for example. There are like real like branded saddles, S branded saddles that are you know they're blatant knockoffs uh ec90 at least they are kind of doing their own branding on things um i've bought a bunch of different ec90 saddles i've bought an, um, an ec90 seat post uh stem um you know a few other things and certainly they are you know like you're getting what you pay for uh, to a certain point but at the same time you're also getting a pretty good value so would I recommend EC90 saddles? Sure, absolutely. I don't have any problems riding them personally, uh, so I don't see why I wouldn't go ahead and recommend them to you. Uh, the nice thing about them is that they don't cost a lot, right? So if they turn out that they don't work for you, they are, you know, it's not a huge waste of money or a lot of investment into the, the product. Again, going back and talking about uh, maybe a downfall of the EC90 stuff, is that it is wearing a little bit uh, easier. Now, I certainly don't have any marks or many major marks or nicks on the top of this saddle. There are a few like um, minor scuffs and stuff like that. I haven't crashed this saddle at all, but you can see again, like the bottom of it, the rails are in need of some touch up. Uh, I would maybe get some outdoor paint, uh, maybe like a matte black paint and uh, paint these at some point if I need to. Um, I don't really necessarily see the um, immediate need to do anything like that. And again, they are holding up fine. Uh, there's no like creaking or anything like that. Uh, everything feels pretty solid on this EC90 saddle. So there you go. That is my comparison of these two saddles. So yeah, the EC90 branded saddle is a pretty decent buy. Um, I don't hesitate to recommend buying the real deal either. Um, certainly this has been a great saddle for me and uh, it might be a great saddle for you. So anyway, that is my comparison between the Specialized Power and the EC90 Power. If you have any questions or comments or you want me to have a, uh, a more in-depth look at some of the other EC90 products that I've purchased, please leave a comment below. Uh, make sure you like this video, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in the next video. See ya.